right, so look, family, what's happening? Check it out. I, me as a person, I feel that uh, most black men is cowards. I feel that most black men is cowards because I know I said it in the past that the majority of black men don't uh, take care of their responsibilities. They don't protect the black woman and child, but that's that's it, it goes beyond that it goes beyond that level um i'm looking at it from many angles i just feel like that black men have not progressed you know spiritually mentally physically i feel like black men are on a decline in fact i know black men are on a decline um, we the lowest, we the lowest of the low. We the lowest on the totem pole. Black men, black men don't have any, black men don't have any, it seems like we don't have any responsibilities or at least that's how we make it seem. The accountability, you know, the accountability is off. We can't even be trusted. No one trusts us. No one believes in us. You know, it's like we the weaker organisms and we falling off. You see what I'm saying? If you look back in history, the black man was physically and mentally and spiritually strong. And as the years uh, went on, somewhere along the way, we fell off, you know? All we care about now is gay shit. I believe I believe the majority of black men, like 90%, I, I won't say the men, I say males or homosexuals. Yeah, I said it. I don't give a fuck who get mad. I don't give a fuck who don't like the videos, whatever, whatever. You know, I feel like 90% of black males are homosexuals. Some. 50% of that 90% is probably in the closet and the other half is the other half is you know out you know we 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 can't it's it's like it's it's frustrating and and it upsets me and angers me because it's like who can I reach out to in a time of need it's it's these past years, these fa uh, past couple of years, it's been a uh, every man every man for himself, every man fan for himself. You know, there's no unity amongst black men anymore. There's no unity in the black family. The the black family structure has crumbled. The the woman, the black woman, is alone by herself. The black child, they're alone by themselves. They walking around the streets doing whatever they want to do. Walking around like zombies, doing every drug, being disrespectful towards their parents. And that's due to a lot of parents not being in their lives. And that's due to a lot of parents not even knowing how to parent. Because when the child was born, a lot of the black parents was uh, children themselves, so it's a lot of it's a lot of things that's hurting. You know, the black it's 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 hurting the black males, and uh, if we don't get it together, we're gonna be fucked. I'm telling you, we're gonna be fucked. We got this government uh, shutdown going on. People making jokes about it. All you see is funny memes and all that type of shit on social media. It's not shit. I don't see shit funny about this government shutdown. You see what I'm saying? Not not one thing. I knew that the IRS was going to issue those income tax uh, checks because the IRS is a privately owned company. They're a privately owned corporation. All the IRS is doing is issuing money 
to the masses and extort them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you pay in. You you first you sign up and sign into that program. You pay into it, and they issue a small percentage of your money back to you once a year. Like here you go. This is what you earn. How the fuck did I earn this? This is all my money anyway. It's a fucking trick, you know. But anyway. The IRS, yeah, they're going to issue those uh, income tax checks, and which is good because a lot of people have been complaining and a lot of people need that money. A lot of people uh, look forward to income tax uh, checks around this time of year. You know, a lot of people uh, buy cars. A lot of people behind on their rent, so they catch up on rent, you know. A lot of a lot of black people do dumb shit. A lot of black people go out to the malls, shopping malls, and spend damn near 85% of their money on material shit. They don't even have no type of value. You see what I'm saying? No type of no type of you 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 investing in something that has no return. And so they'll squander off, you know, they'll squander off the majority of their income tax money. But hey, it's theirs to do. But you would think after so many years that uh, the black community would come together and have some type of sense and knowledge about economics and uh, how to invest, you know. But here it is, 2019, and shit is still the same. In fact, shit is not the same, it's worse. It's worse. You know, um, I make these videos because I truly care, you know, and I also make these videos to uh, open up people's eyes so they'll be aware of certain things, you know. This 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 government, this government shutdown, it's it's, it's affecting a lot of people, the people, the, the people that work at the airlines, at the airport. You know, and work for the airline companies, they haven't been getting paid. And there's a lot of other uh, government employees that haven't been getting paid. You know, what you think is going to happen? What you think is going to happen if this continues to go on like this? People are going to start um, robbing each other. They're going to start, you know, killing and hurting each other because. For one, people have to eat. They have to pay bills. You know, they have to feed their children. And 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 you know, this is what it's coming down to. You know, um, a lot of people say that this is nothing but distractions. You know, we always distracted. We're not distracted by shit. How you distracted by something you don't even care about it. You know, what, 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 like, pro, like Professor Griff said, what the fuck are y'all distracted from? You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers stay on social media all motherfucking day and night. So what the fuck are you distracted from? It's not like you, uh, on the front lines pushing the line or something. It's not like you helping a community with something. So what are you distracted from? You know, you don't watch the news. You don't care about anything that's going on around the world. What the fuck are you distracted from? And then another thing, another thing is this government shutdown, not only is it going to affect the workers, and not only is it going to affect a lot of poor people, but it's going to affect people that's in high positions as well. This shit, this shit, it's going to get worse before it get better because we have an idiot that's in office but he he's not he he's he's a low man on the totem pole he's he's being told what to do it's people behind him he's nothing but a fucking puppet it's people behind him that's making him do everything he do everything when he comes out and speaks that that and gets speeches that shit is scripted you know that shit is scripted. Don't think for one second that this man is stupid. 
You know, Trump knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. And 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 the many people behind them know exactly what they're doing too because it's part of their fucking agenda. You know, these people want to come in and and just take the remaining of what everybody have right now, you know, which ain't much. Nobody's rich. Everybody, you know, all everybody have is probably clothes, their dignity, pride, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? People keep talking about rights. People don't even know what rights are. You know, whatever man give you, man can take back. You see what I'm saying? There's two type of laws that people should be aware of. One of the laws is man's laws. The other laws is uh, God's law, whatever you want to call it. Universal laws, nature. You see what I'm saying? Your God-given rights, your birth rights, your natural rights. Something that can't be ever taken away. You know, you was born with that. Whatever, whatever man give you, man can take away. So that's why he requires his signature on everything. Requires your signature on everything, excuse me. So he could uh, put his laws in place. You see what I'm saying? The word, the word signature means to sign nature. So, you know, you have to be aware of these things. You see what I'm saying? People keep going around talking about they're going to take our rights. They're going to take our human rights and the constitutional rights. The motherfuckers who doing everything is the ones who put the laws in place. You know, the only thing you need in this world is your, is your natural rights. The rights you was born with. All that other shit is artificial. Yeah, all that other shit is artificial. Talking about you scared because they gonna take they 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 whatever they give you they can take away, but they can never take your natural rights away. You know, never fear them motherfuckers. Fuck them, straight up. You know. So uh, speaking on the government shutdown and all that shit, you know. You gotta be, you gotta be aware of certain elements. You gotta be, you gotta be aware of uh, anything that may, any, any, anything that may come within our path. We have to be prepared for it. We have to be ready for this shit, people. Straight up, we have to be ready. You see what I'm saying? They they don't give a fuck about us, you know? The government, the CIA, whoever the fuck, you know? They don't give a fuck about us. And then, then you got, like I said, gay black men, you know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit is crazy, man. This shit is fucking insane. I'm talking about, I'm just fed up with all this gay shit. The LGBTQ community, fuck them. Every time a motherfucker say something, these motherfuckers want to uh, band together and say something about them. And, you know, you can't speak your mind and oh, fuck all that uh, First Amendment of rights and freedom of speech you know what i'm saying i'm a motherfucking man i'm a motherfucking human being i have a right my natural god-given right to say whatever the fuck i want to say now if i say something out of line to somebody then yeah it's gonna be consequences whatever you put into the universe it's gonna come back to you so if you say something that's out of line hell yeah you gonna suffer the consequences you're going to reap the benefits of that. If you say something that ain't out of line, you're still going to reap the benefits of it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be trying to censor motherfuckers and silence motherfuckers. And, oh, you can't say this. You're homophobic. You can't do this or you can't do that. You weren't supposed to say this because this person doesn't feel right. They should take his job because I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Real talk, if a motherfucker, if a motherfucker gay, a motherfucker gay, whatever your sexual preference is, you dig what I'm saying, then uh, 
I mean, that's 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 what it is. But my thing is this, you know what I'm saying? If if you gay, keep that shit away from me. I'm not homophobic. Just keep that shit away from me. You know, the world wasn't meant. The world wasn't meant to be like this. It wasn't meant. It wasn't meant. And now you got, you know, all 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 the black males down near. Motherfuckers want to be gay. They want they in competition with the women. They in competition. I mean, black black males is in competition with every fucking body. Themselves, the next black male, all the black women. Man, this shit is sickening. This shit is sickening like a motherfucker. People sitting up viewing us you got the world viewing us we supposed to be setting an example for everybody in the world because we supposed to be leaders and here it is we walking around in dresses and shit like that acting like women nobody finna fucking follow us how can you fucking lead anybody when they can't even trust you scared to protect yourself and scared to protect your child and and scared to protect the women and all that shit, but then want to turn around and argue and fuss and fight and kill your fellow brother, man. Man, fuck that shit. I shouldn't be the only one making videos like this, and I'm not. And what I mean by that is, it's a small percentage of brothers who actually make videos that's speaking for the people you know, it's a small percentage of brothers. Very, very small percentage, you know. Um, a lot of people have larger platforms. And if you look at those platforms, a lot of them speak on the same bullshit every day. Straight nonsense. A lot of them want to sell out. A lot of them want fame. A lot of them want to be like, yeah, here I am, master. Here I am, master. Yeah, I'm ready. I suck a dick. I do anything it takes just so I can be famous and you can give me some crumbs off your plate. I accept it. You know, you niggas is scared, for real. Scared as a motherfucker. Like Ice Cube, Ice Cube said in that song. Scared of revolution. Need to start douching. <laughs> Sucking on the devil's dick. But yeah, man. Yeah. I said that 90% of black males is homosexuals and it's a proven fact and I hate to speak on black males like that but that's reality that's truth you can't get around that shit you can't get around it black men are feminine as a motherfucker and they know it they know it motherfuckers walking around with they with their heads between their legs tucking their tails and shit you know what I'm saying? And this and this and this rape shit. R. Kelly. People have asked me to make a video about this shit. I didn't want to make no video about this shit. It's a million videos already and 99% of them saying the same shit. You know, motherfuckers just making videos just to get noticed and all that shit. They really don't give a fuck. It could have been anybody they was talking about. Motherfuckers just jump on the bandwagon. But uh, my thing is this, fuck R. Kelly. Nigga, if you did it, you did that shit, and you know you did it. Now stand firm, nigga. You know, you put it out there, that's what it is, you know? That's, that's, that's what it is, straight up, you know? My thing with the whole R. Kelly thing is this, and it's gonna be short and simple. I want black people, I want the black community to keep that same motherfucking energy they got going when some real, real, real shit happened. I'm not saying this R. Kelly shit ain't real because anytime you do that to any young black female, you dig what I'm saying? Any girls, you know what I'm saying? You need to be dealt with and handled. What I'm saying is keep that same energy so when uh, motherfuckers do what they do, you know what I'm saying? When motherfuckers harm us, motherfucker harm a black female, and I mean like, might be at the grocery store or something like that. 
and uh they punch her out or you see you see she at the nail shop and that asian dude is choking her out and disrespecting her or something like that then yeah keep that same motherfucking energy and get on the motherfuckers ass you see what i'm saying fuck all the video making fuck all the you know what i'm saying all the all the hoopla and all the sharing of the video who this happened and that happened fuck that go straight to the motherfucking business and burn that motherfucker down straight up burn the business down you know what i'm saying we passed boycotting fuck that burn the business down and destroy the motherfucking uh person too you know what i'm saying fuck the person up and burn they shit down that way we know that this motherfucker ain't gonna do shit no more because we didn't fuck the person up who violated and we fucked their business off too you gonna be fucked both ways you know what i'm saying you fuck our family up we fuck your family up yeah we destroy your money and everything too straight up shit that's all i'm saying keep the same motherfucking energy going shit you know what i'm saying as a matter of fact it's a good energy right now everybody protesting and 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 talking shit and you know what i'm saying they angry and they they ready just keep that same energy when it's really really time to go to war you know hell yeah shit keep that same motherfucking energy but uh i just wanted to make this video i just wanted to say that you know that's how i feel that's how i've been feeling about black men since since i was released from prison you know what i'm saying in fact i've been feeling that way before i went to prison but uh it wasn't too much you know i went to prison in 2010 and shit i went to the feds went back to the feds on a violation and uh you know i was just i just been feeling that way towards black men you know fuck this gang shit that gang shit is homosexual shit the crips the bloods gds vice lords i don't give a fuck what gang it is fuck them if you ain't for the people you against the people ain't no in-betweens that shit is gay shit yeah fuck the lgbtq fuck them too fuck all these fuck all these motherfucking feminists that really don't like men you know what i'm saying that's really trying to push laws and shit to destroy men fuck y'all too you know if now if a man did something to you and violated you i'm all for it i'm all with you i understand that but other than that just jumping on the bandwagon trying to destroy men bitch fuck you straight up it's time for motherfuckers to speak their mind and all that shit the me too movement yeah i seen on uh instagram brother hassan's page he had put up a uh, meme you know what i'm saying showing where uh white devils was uh had our uh ancestors naked out there feeling on them and all that shit you know and they was raping them and shit and it said how far do the me too movement go back and that's real because this shit just didn't start and it didn't start with r kelly and it didn't start with uh bill cosby and all that type of shit you know all our peoples and shit now you know that shit go far back so if we gonna we gonna push some let's push it you know what i'm saying what about thomas jefferson and all the rest of the presidents who was uh raping our peoples and all that type of shit you know what i'm saying shit slave owners and all that shit me too movement should have went on in you know what i'm saying I, I praise people like denmark vesey and all them you know real talk because they was pressing you know they was handling they was handling their business back then they was riding for our people like a motherfucker you know and that's how we should be riding today straight up but uh you know it's, it is what it is you know what i'm saying and it's some real shit and i'm gonna kick off some real shit 
a motherfucker fuck with me, I'm gonna do some real shit to him. Real talk, real language. <laughs> I ain't bullshitting. I ain't just sitting up here talking either. But, uh, oh yeah, before I get up out of here, I made a video about Michael Jackson. You know, they got a, uh, documentary coming out, you know, fuck the director. Fuck all the motherfuckers who involved in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I guess two little boys were sexually abused. They alleged Michael abused him and they tried to sue him, sue his estate. The judge threw that shit out on both of them. I ain't gonna say fuck them two. You know, if they lying, fuck them. If they not lying, then hey, whatever come to them that's positive, that's what it is. You know, but if they lying, fuck them. You know, but man, let Michael rest. You know what I'm saying? See, see, this is one thing, people. Even when we transition and we die, they still want to fuck our names off. They still want to tarnish our names and shit because our energy keeps going and going and it's positive energy and people still people still be loving us. People still praise and love Mike. So they, even though he not here to defend himself, you know what I'm saying? The energy is, the positivity that he left back is here to defend, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know, these motherfuckers is money hungry, greedy, savages, vultures. Any any time one of these Jew motherfuckers see some motherfucking money, a chance to make some money, they own it. They exploit us. They do it all the time, man. You niggas keep helping them and shit. You gotta stop that shit. But look here, man. I'm gonna get up out of here. Y'all stop being gay. You know what I'm saying? Pull your motherfucking pants up. Quit showing your ass on TV and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And be some strong black men. And be down for what you're supposed to be down for. You know? Real talk. Real language, people. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.